Hi, I'm Patricia Hazel, and welcome to Patricia's Potpourri. Today, I am going to show you some of the highlights of the Northeast Bronx section of the National Council of Negro Women's 50th anniversary. My name is Lucy L. Bowles Wilson. I'm here to support the National Council of Negro Women because I am a woman who has raised her son and daughter and grandson and great-grand helping him move along so we have something to give to him in our legacy of being strong African-American women. I'm Shirlane McRae, First Lady of New York City, and I am delighted to be here to praise the success, 50 years of success, of the North Bronx section of the National Council of Negro Women. Hello, my name is Carolyn Smith. I'm the historian for the NCNW North Bronx Division. And one of the reasons, I'd like to welcome everybody here. And the reason why I'm excited about this occasion 
is because I, as a historian, I had a chance to learn about the history of some of our outstanding women with the NCNW. And this gave me inspiration just recently. I consider this the, wor the, the year of the woman based on some of the current situations that we have seen and heard in the newspaper. I had the pleasure of being in Washington, D.C. January the 21st and did a march. And basically we're marching, we're marching for all the different things that have been projected on us as women. One of the inspirations for my march was Dorothy Hyde and Mary McCullough Bethune. Now I'm gonna turn the mic over to my assistant historian, Ms. Marjorie Major, and she'll give you a little brief uh, history about some of the things that we do to try to embrace the NCNW for our younger women who we hope will join our committee tonight. Thank you. So good afternoon. I don't know how much history I can give you, but it was fun doing this project. Um, as a co-historian, I had the honor to sit and, and shift through and sort pictures and um, documents. And, um, and, you, and all of it we couldn't display here today, but the awe for how long this institution has been in place, 50 years in the Bronx, that's something to be proud of. Please give a round of applause for that. We had a wonderful time today. And it was great celebrating the 50th anniversary of NCNW, North Bronx section. I, I've been there for many, many, many years, since 50 years ago when I was a, a, a boy. Um, I have attended many of the functions and know many of the people. And um, NCNW has always been an organization that has fought for freedom uh, for all people. And heaven knows that right now we need that in this country. I'm down in Washington fighting the good fight, and all my, my good friends and neighbors are up here, uh, and I visit them on weekends and during the week whenever I'm not in Washington. But I just had a wonderful time, and I love the fact that they were playing all the songs from 50 years ago, and the band playing it was my, about my age. So I kind of had a throwback that it was 50 years ago. I felt much better already. But um, NCNW, you don't, you don't celebrate 50 years as a chapter if you're not doing your job. And clearly, uh, the North Bronx chapter has always been in the forefront of, of fighting for freedom for all people. And um, I'm proud to be uh, a part of it, of this wonderful celebration, and proud to uh, represent uh, in Congress the North Bronx section of NCNW. Thank you. Okay, so the first individual that we're, we're going to call up is one of our very own. She's a member of the National Council of Negro Women, and that's none other than our district attorney from the Bronx, Ms. Darcel Clark, first African-American woman. Thank you, President Kerr. Good afternoon, NCNW. What a great occasion, 50 years. You know, some people will say, well, National Council, Negro women, I mean, who needs an organization like that? I mean, you know, that's so yesterday, that's so 1960s, that's so 50 years ago. And people would think that this, this organization is not relevant. Well, I stand here before you to tell you that it is relevant because this organization inspires women to do more and more for their community. I stand here before you as a testament as to why NCNW is needed because I am now, because of women in NCNW and the shoulders of Bermadine Hines and Willie Bowman and all of those who encouraged me throughout the years that I stand before you as the first woman district attorney of the Bronx and the first African-American woman district attorney in the history of the state of New York. So don't tell me NCNW is not relevant. And so I stand here to say congratulations to all of us and mostly congratulations to our future leaders of which I know some of them, Lisa Dawson. Where did Lisa go? She was just there a minute ago. 
Lisa, who I've seen work so hard, um, Alethea, Ms. Schillingford, I know so many, I know so many of them, and there's so many more of them that we need to encourage to use their talent and their ideas and their opinions to move our agenda forward. So congratulations to us all, and God bless. Hi, I'm Priscilla Crowell, a longtime member of this incredible group that is celebrating their 50th anniversary, the North Bronx section of National Council of Negro Women, founded by Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune and the CEO, Dr. Hyde, who carried on her dream and her mission. Our section has always remembered the legacy of Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune, serving the community, especially women and children and their families. We work right there in the local Wakefield area of the Bronx for over 50 years. I had the pleasure and the honor of being able to serve with people with names, the names of such as Willie E.P. Bowman, a former uh, president, now deceased. Also with uh, Miss Anita St. Clair, who's presently deceased, and, I, and Miss Laura Rodan, who's an incredible president. Uh, who gave us so much information. We came in in 1989, not knowing what we were in for, and it hasn't stopped yet. I am just so excited about the new generation of leadership that's coming forward, and we gotta continue this dream. Mary McLeod Bethune started selling app, uh, sweet potato pies for $1.50 and founded the uh, university there, the Bethune-Cookman College down in Daytona Beach, Florida, and look what we have today, sections all over the country. And international is also our arena. I just want to be so appreciative at this time of everyone that has been a mentor to me and my family. My two, my two daughters, my son, and my three children, grandchildren never will forget, because I'm always going to talk about National Council of Negro Women. Thank you so much. First, let me congratulate the president, Pat Keir. Let's give her a round of applause. I would imagine when this chapter was formed 50 years ago, not knowing what to expect, I assure you the founding fathers and mothers of this organization are looking down upon all of us today and saying, we've done well. And that quote that is so visually displayed, we are fortified by the past, defining the present, and shaping the future could never be more true than the accomplishments of this organization, the women that are here today, and the women that are no longer with us. So I'm proud to be here to share the 50th anniversary with all of you, proud that so many of our young leaders are being recognized. Who knew that 50 years later there would be so many young, proud, strong, and beautiful leaders such as Alana, Lisa, Tiffany, Jasmine, Nicole, and one of my very own, Alethea, a.k.a. Lily. So I promise to always be here in support. I've never been prouder of this organization than I am today, and I know in the future it's going to make bolder and prouder moments for all of us to share. And then the advice that I was given by the president, if you want to come back next year, keep it short. Let me end it here. God bless you. Happy 50th NCNW North Bronx branch represent. And I'm a proud member of that branch. I have served under two presidents. That's Jesse Collins. And I also served under President Patricia Kerr. At this time, I'm a regular member, but I have taken on presidency of the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, the Bronx branch. Now, what you may not know is that Asala is 102 years old and that Mary McLeod Bethune was a member and a president of Asala at one time with our founder, Dr. Carter 
G. Woodson show. I mean, you know, this is like history on top of history. Like it's double. Like they tell you upstairs. They said um, our first lady, Cheryl Ann McLean, she said that this was just the beginning. This was the first 50 years. Well, a saw is 100 years. So by the time uh, this organization gets to 100, we'll be 150. I mean, it's tried and true. I believe that it's, it's one of the best organizations. I pride myself in being a member of something that was started by Mary, Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune. She's a mentor as far as I'm concerned. Also, Dr. Dorothy Height, which un unfortunately, I joined the organization only a year before she, she passed away, but her legacy still presides and presents her. So I am proud to be Dr. Dina Robbins in the same, walking in the same shoes and doing different things in the community to make sure it stays. Um, God bless this organization and thank everyone who came out today to support the 50th anniversary of the North Bronx section. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Can I get this down a little lower? Okay. I'm so delighted to be here today. Uh, Wow, thank you. <laughs> I'm so delighted to be here today. Uh, what a glorious day to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the National Council of Negro Women, the North Bronx section. Why don't we give them a big round of applause? I must tell you, on behalf of Borough President Ruben Diaz, Jr., I bring greetings to you. Uh, he, he sends his love, and he sends his greetings. Uh, we, we honor those of the organization, as well as your distinguished guests, and including our First Lady, Shirlene de Blasio, and to the Executive Board, and to the President, Patricia Kerr, and the whole team who put this event together. And I must tell you that this is not an easy room to work out, but you did a phenomenal job in getting all of us in here. So let's commend them again. <laughs> the history that's on display today is phenomenal. 50 years is a milestone that all of us should be proud of, especially this organization. We as a community are grateful to have an institution of this stature in the Bronx and that the women of the Bronx have worked to maintain its history so that, yes, it started 50 years ago, but very often organizations that start don't continue the work. But these women have. Good afternoon, family. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, Bronx. Good afternoon, NCNW. Just want to say congratulations to all the honorees, especially to my lovely little daughter here, Nicole, and all the other honorees who have all worked with over their time and over their lives and what, all the work they've been doing in their young lives. I'm inspired by Pat Care, all the admission, and Monica Major, which are looking to do and moving NCN forward. I want to leave you with this. I was last week, I was in New Orleans at a conference, AFRAN, which is called the African American Caucus for SEIU. And while we were there talking about how do we fight stronger for people of color, which was the mission, which is still the mission of NCNW, while we were looking to fight for that mission, the number one message that came out of that, the number one message that came out of that, the number one message that came out of that is how do we figure out and continue to work together without getting in front of each other's way? And I said that was so profound because while we were still having the message of, and the, and, the, and the new slogan came out back from the 60s, black power, but as we continue to talk about black power, how do we continue to be loving brothers and sisters to each other? And I think when you go back in the history of Mary McLeod Bethune, I know that was the conversation that those sisters were having, how we continue to show love to one another, regardless of what challenges they were having of the day, I guarantee you when they sat in the room, they were looking out for each other. That has to be the continuing mission for all of us because if we can ever, if we can ever have, be on the same page in a conversation full of love, 
will always mess up the mission. So I say to us each and every today, I thank you all for being part of this mission. I'm looking forward to working with NCAA even more. And I ask you to remember this. And I passed that legislation that was saying that we are three, we're 100% whole. Remember, the Constitution says something different. But Mary, Mary, Mary McLeod Bethune knew that she was 100% whole, and so are we. Continue to stay strong, and congratulations. Happy 50th. Here I am with Jasmine McCook, and she won an award. Ms. McCook. Why you won an award, and I know there's a very special thing about you winning that award. Yeah, um, I won the award because I'm the youth ambassador for the United Nations, and a very special thing about it is that I'm the fourth generation to win this award. It was my great grandmother, my grandmother, and my mother, and now me. So, yeah. Ms. McCook, I would like one day for you to come to Patricia's uh, potpourri at Lehman College. And if I can interview you, because I see that you are a lady on the move. And the, one of the last people that uh, we interviewed, he became the senator. Yes. Okay. That would okay. be cool. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to say about the affair, Ms. McCook? What the The affair. Which one here? Oh, oh. It was a beautiful. I loved it. The music. Everybody. Um, oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I'm getting really nervous right now. Um, could mom come over here and say a word? Mom. 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 Yes, mom. Mo mom was an award winning author. Yes, when she was younger. Okay. Come, come right over here. Mom. Hi. Hello. Hi. So you are Jasmine's mom. Yes. Can the camera tell us you are an award winner? I received the Youth Award um, in 1994, so had to pass the baton down to my daughter. And we, we, we understand that it's been generational for your family. How many generations have received rewards? Um, well, I'm the second one and she's the third. Actually, I'm the third and she's the fourth technically. Wow. I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much. I, ho I hope you both be my guests thank on Patricia's Poker. No okay, thank you. Say, and I, I also want, want to um, present my own citation and recognitions to these wonderful honorees, Ms. Lisa Dawson. You can clap for them again. Listen, there's never too much applause. Nicole Schillingford. They messed them up. Alana Bedeau. <laughs> Miss Alethea Williams. You guys fancy. You got too much. You can't even hold all these awards, can you? And last but definitely not least, Miss Tiffany Dickinson. She's not here. So thank you all again. Congratulations to the honorees. And if I may get a, get a picture. You look so beautiful. Everybody looks so fancy. Yeah, very good looking audience here. The North Bronx section of NCNW is clearly flourishing. You're doing well. I want to congratulate you on 50 magnificent years of leadership. And my husband, our mayor, sends his praises and congratulations as well. Now, I know you wanted him to be here, and he wanted to be here too, but you got me. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> and I'm so delighted to be in this room filled with so many gorgeous women and men, uh, women who refuse to stay back, women who know their history, women who know their power. For five decades, five decades now, you have followed in the bold, trailblazing footsteps of Mary McLeod Bethune, and your work has enriched so many, so many lives. You've opened up new worlds for young people through visits to college, campuses, libraries, and museums. You've helped others find their voice 
by organizing community forums, by organizing voter registration drives, and you've provided job training and served up hundreds of Thanksgiving dinners, and you've done, I, you know, I could go on, because you've, you've done so many notable deeds. But here's the kicker. Y'all just getting started. <laughs> this, is, this is the first 50 years, right? So the theme of your celebration, fortified by the past, defining the present, shaping the future, is an inspiring mantra. And I'm glad we're all here together celebrating as, as we look ahead, because the arc of history may bend toward justice, but we're the ones who must keep on pushing it in the right direction. In order to push, we gotta be strong. Am I right? That's right. In order to be strong, we've gotta be well. Am I right? Okay, now I'm talking about health of the mind and the body. We can't be walking around with our brain power caught up in an endless loop of negative thinking, our backs bent by the blues, and our spirits trapped by anxiety. I know there's a lot of stuff out there. We're all worried, right, about what's going on, but we, we can't walk around with it inside our heads. So that's one of the reasons why my team and I launched Thrive NYC, our mental health roadmap, to help people get services where they live, where they work, where they learn, where they worship. And I want to tell you that one of the ways we're helping people is through NYC Well. Have you all heard about NYC Well? Yes? Oh, good. Very good. It's our crisis hotline, but it's more than a crisis hotline. It's also a place where you can connect to a mental health provider. You can speak to a trained counselor or a peer counselor. You can, they can help you figure out like what to do. Sometimes you get in these situations, right? You know, maybe your family member or loved one starts, you know, their behavior changes and you don't know where to go or what to do. Well, you can call this number and get help. They can help you figure it out. And it's free, it's confidential. I would like to thank all of the new guests I had today on the show that spoke with us about the program and how they enjoyed it. And I would like to invite you to look at past issues of Patricia's Popery on YouTube. Here we are at the Bronx Museum of the Arts, the National Council of Negro Women, Northeast Bronx Section, 50th Anniversary. Thank <laughs> you.